entrepreneurs, business owners, professionals who seek excellence, bringing the business classroom to you. It's the Business Builders Show. Here's Marty Wolf. We still got a long way to go. Yes, we all got a long way to go. Welcome to the Business Builders Show with Marty Wolf. The show for entrepreneurs, business owners, and business leaders. I'm Marty Wolf, your host for the Business Builder Show, and along with my executive producer, D.C. Taylor, we will be your guides on this learning journey. Let me tell you my super objective in being with you today. I want to enthusiastically share stories and information to inspire leaders so they can inspire others. I'm proud to let you know we record the Business Builder Show in the studios of 94.3 FM The Talker, which is part of Bold Gold Media, and we are in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The Business Builder Show is distributed by C-Suite Radio. You can find our show and many other great shows at c-suiteradio.com. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com. My special guest with me today is Chris Westfall. Hi, Chris. How are you, sir? Doing great, Marty. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I've been looking forward to this conversation. We're going to be talking about your book, and I'll announce that in a second. Let me do kind of a formal introduction. Chris Westfall, he is an internationally recognized business coach who regularly works with Fortune 100 companies as well as high-growth businesses. Chris has appeared on CNN, ABC News, and NBC TV, and his writing has shown up in Forbes, Entrepreneur, Success, and other publications. Chris has customers like Cisco, Hewlett Packard, Salesforce, the Navy SEALs, and many more. Here's something really interesting. Everything's been interesting up till then, but here's even more interesting. Uh, Chris Westfall has coached business builders on to Shark Tank, Dragon's Den in Canada, and Shark, Shark Tank, Australia. And he's written a great book. The title of that book is Leadership Language. The subtitle is Using Authentic Communication to Drive Results. Chris, again, welcome to the Business Builder Show. Thank you, Marty. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, so a fundamental question, but it's always an important one. Um, Who are you trying to help with this book? Again, Leadership Language is the title. Maybe you um, needed help yourself. (laughs) Maybe that's part of it. (laughs) Or maybe you're experiencing something with clients. So tell me, who who do you want to help with the book? Well, I think great books always come from the author's experience, and certainly that's where this book started. But the objective is to reach out to two types of people. One, actual leaders, people who are owners, entrepreneurs, executives, who have responsibilities for a team, for an entire organization in many cases. And then the second group is aspirational leaders, folks who maybe aren't in the C-suite or haven't launched their business yet but they know that it's on the agenda and it's something that they, they want for themselves. So for, for folks who look at their career, their life, and look at business and say, I want to build something that's not here yet, mm. that's, that's really who this book is for. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to use a phrase, I'm going to mention a phrase that you mentioned throughout the book because I saw it as a theme. Now, that's me saying that, not you, folks. So. You've said, you said several times throughout the book, you are never more than one thought away from innovation. Let me repeat that, folks. You are never more than one thought away from innovation. So I want you to keep that in your head, folks, as you're listening to Chris uh, talk, because that kind of kept me, kept me on the edge of my seat. Okay, so we have actual leaders who are doing it. Big companies, small companies, everyone in, in between, and those who want to be leaders. You also kind of make a... I don't know if it's a differentiation. I, I guess I want to ask it this way. So you talk about clients, but you also say clients can also be, um, you know, folks who you may be leading in the Boy Scout group. It could be uh, someone. It could be your own uh, family. So is that true, too? Are you thinking in terms of defining clients? Is that also part of your thought process when you wrote the book? 
Well, when you think about clients, or, or another way, another way to define client will be to say customer. Mm-hmm. And for me, a customer isn't someone that you sell something to. A customer is someone that you serve. 